Hey guys, Nicole Sauce here with a crack key update on my lettuce grow. So as you can see, we have germination here and it's gone long enough. So we're about seven days in that the roots are coming through the bottom. I'm actually really glad that I started these in the net pots because the roots went through the bottom on their own and I had to string one or two of them and it's really hard to fit it through these tiny little holes. Your best bet is to go with the Z because it's got a nice slat, but luckily I only had to do that with one or two. Okay, so what we're doing is transplanting. So this is a cilantro. It didn't germinate yet. You can still see the seeds down in there. Maybe you can't, but anyway, trust me, it's there. Uh, this is lettuce and arugula, and I have most of them transplanted already. We're putting them in the mason jars, and we're doing this with... Um, it, so it'll it'll basically end up looking like this, where there's a net pot with the plug and the plant, wet clay pebbles, which are here, and then the fluid up to the very bottom of that. My buddy next door has these mason jars, which are already darkened so that they won't grow algae. They're just a little bit smaller though. So I've put some in those and I'm doing some in mason jars and then to darken them, I took these like paper lunch bags and cut them down to size. So we're like doing the wino thing and squishing them around there. So what I'm doing is pouring the liquid in before I transplant them. And this is water mixed with nutrients. And I want it just so the bottom of the net pot's touching it. That's actually a little too much. And then the roots can start sucking up the water. And as the plant grows, it, so you see how it's like just touching the bottom there? Just barely. But the root's down about an inch below that, so it's perfect. Anyway, so we get that in there, and then we put clay pebbles around it to keep the light, again, from shining down, because we're going to put grow lights on this. On that same 12-hour timer, I've got set for the seeds, like seed germination area, and then I'm going to put a heat mat under the germination to see if that'll get the cilantro to to finally give us some love and give us some plants. It's either that or maybe my seed's really old. Who knows? So then this goes in the paper bag and goes over there. Now the nutrient, I only had half gallon mixing jars, so I had to figure out how much nutrient I am using the Texas tomato food. See this? It's by Urban Farm out of Texas. At a, to, so I'm shooting for 800 to 900 parts per million. So I have three quarters of a teaspoon per half gallon based on some math I did. I hope it was right. We'll see how it goes. This goes in my wino bag here. And then it's kind of like pegging your jeans in the 80s, right? You kind of fold it and bring it down so that the light can't get in. And then we'll just move this over there to the growing area. And... As I said, we have these set up on a 12-hour timer. So they're under light, and you can see all the other little teeny plants there. So that's the update for the week. We've got, they're about a half inch tall, which is good because they're not getting leggy. And I just have the first germination leaves. We don't have true leaves yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, Jack Spearco mentioned that I should try rock wool versus these seedling plugs that I'm using, the rapid rooters. And uh, I'm going to try to get my hands on some of those. A friend of mine across the state says he knows somebody who may have some for sale, so I don't have to buy 100,000 of them. I can just get like 10. So when I do my next set of the lettuce in four to five weeks, I'll compare how the rock wool does compared to the rapid rooter. For now, what we're going to do is compare these slightly smaller jars to the bigger jars. And that's it. It's going well. So far, nothing's died.